bloody good view from up here. from a car today come from a lake again this is actually a canal this is a ship called the Empire Sandy we just took it through the locks between uh, Lake Erie and Lake Ontario actually the other way around and we're coming back into Port Colborne this is the first time I've gone under the bridge hi Nick hey. and uh, it's nice to see the bridge when it's up from this angle for a change yes, we're not worried so, about the bridge being up <laughs> yeah we don't give a rat's ass because we're going under it we don't have to wait Yeah. So we started at 9 o'clock this morning, it's nearly 9 o'clock at night, 12 hour trip, and uh, <laughs> all good, there are cars over there although you can't see them. And that's the ship, it's a three mastered schooner, it's actually got a huge history on it, far too long to go into right now. but. This is the start of the uh, three day festival we call Canal Days. And it's going to be a riot. And we're only three blocks away, so. Gotta get these people on the sides no. looking at us. No. You boogie, girl. Boogie, boogie, boogie. Boogie, girl. <laughs> this is my hometown. <laughs> Woo. Yep. Main Street Bridge. This is another view. I've never seen it from this angle before. That's a lot more fun. And back there, you can also see the boat that we passed earlier. Going the other way. There are eight locks between one lake and the other. It took 12 hours to go through them all. We've had beer, we've had food. We've had a damn good time. I got sunburned. Yep. Nikki got sunburned too. <laughs> all good. Good people, good place. Good party. Hell yeah. <laughs> and this is the fun ship. Going downstairs to the galley and the toilets, and that's another bridge. That's the middle bridge that I've talked about before. That's the one you've seen from the road, and that's the road. All good. Ah. Uh, Ian, buddy. Yes, sir. You're going on YouTube. Say hi. Hello, everyone. <laughs> this is Ian. He's the DJ. He's funny. He's Swedish. Yes. <laughs> Swedish by way of... Hurdy gurdy burdy burdy. Hurdy gurdy burdy burdy. Could I get my battery, please? Certainly. Thank you. I think that should be enough for now. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Thanks for the tickets, Ed. <laughs> Thanks, Ed. Love you, honey. Love you too, honey. That's the bridge from the other side. I got my battery, so I'm going to turn this off now. And I'm going to film this with a DSLR, which is a lot better quality. That's the canal. Oh, you can't see it. That's the Clarence Street Bridge. That's the one I want. <laughs> We're going to fire off the cannon as we go under the bridge. It's traditional. So Port Colborne is in for a very nasty, very loud surprise. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there's some people. Hi. Hi. How are you?
<laughs> That's the bridge. That's the one I'm always sitting at and complaining about. Well, you know what? <laughs> I'm not complaining today. Far in the hole. So, should I say it? Yep. yep! Okay, now I can sit. Okay. Hello! Yeah? Yes. Now. Fire in the hole. <laughs> 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 it's that New York guys, you're lost. <laughs> <laughs> Canal Days is the first weekend in August every year. We've been doing it for 20 plus years. And for the next three days, this is Party Central. We're gonna have plus a million visitors on this street. We have concerts every night in the Market Square. We have vendors, we have street entertainers, mu musicians. We have bands in every bar. This is a good time of year for Paul Coleman. On behalf of the staff, the captains, myself, we hope you all had a great time today. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Cheers, Ian. I don't think I'm going to stop playing music here. <laughs> <laughs> I know I like this guy. Hey, Good evening, it's Port Colburn. We're the Empire Sandy and we're kind of a big deal. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Shane O'Brien. Wear that every day. Dancing and filming doesn't mix, but I don't care. Little lights on the water. Gotta say, this is fun. Yeah, this isn't about me talking, this is about me enjoying. I like. If you can get to Port Colburn, you should. Show you a good time. Good people here. Yeah. Including me and Nikki. Enough, we're just backing into the dock now, so I'm going to turn this off and go and have some party fun with the guys. So, signing off from the Empire Sandy, Port Colburn 2012 Canal Days. Party starts here. So this is the start of Canal Days on West Street. Wonderful food vendors. And a quick stiffener before heading over to the Empire Sandy, which I think is just pulling in now. I'm going to be getting on that boat very shortly. And you know where I'm going to end up. 
beautiful thing about being up there is I'm going to get all these wonderful photographs. Isn't that nice? It's not even started yet. It's only noon and it's 37 degrees. A little on the hot side. By the end of today, there's going to be so much bloody people here you can't uh, you can't walk down this street. It should be fun. Yeah. Canal Days is a celebration of the Welland Canal that brought all this industry into Port Colborne. It's a 21 mile section of water that connects Lake Erie and Lake Ontario. And without it, a lot of industry in this area would be completely dead. Uh, you used to have to come overland. Overland is slow, boring, expensive. Water, much quicker. And Canal Days celebrates that. The Empire Sandy is a major part of it. This is not the Empire Sandy, as you can see, it's in Niagara. I'm waiting for it to come back in so I can go up that mast. And the Empire Sandy bus starts and ends the celebration. Um, once she arrives in town, as we came under the bridge, you saw, we uh, fired the cannon. That signals the beginning of the festivities. And on the last night of Canal Days, they fire the cannon when they come back from the dinner cruise. And that signals the beginning of the firework display, which is the end of the festivities. Monday morning is basically clean-up. But, uh, yeah, the Empire Sandy, as you heard, is a big thing. I'm going up that mast. So that little board there is the bit I'm going to be sitting on. Yep. It's what, a half, no, three quarter inch ply? Yep. Uh, at least the rope's nice and thick. I was worried it was going to be the one inch thing or the half inch Which thing. Which one are you using, Eric? Oh, that one? That's the hoist. This is secondary. Oh, okay. This is Captain Eric. I owe him a big deal of thanks. He's the one that's letting this dope on a rope go up there. <laughs> <laughs> and this is Captain Al. So between the two of them, uh, I think I'm going to be pretty good here. We might even let you down. For 20 bucks a month. <laughs> yeah, I understand. Yeah, just do me a favor, don't go out for the lunch when I'm up there because it's hot and I'll burn. I understand. I, understand. I, I got pale English skin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's, uh, that's going way up there ish. Somewhere. With this big fat guy on it. So we'll see how that works out. You guys are good at nuts, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, step aboard. There's the back side. Okay, step on in. I saw that. One there. Yep. One there. Bring her up. Okay. Adjust yeah, this go. to comfortably suit. Oh, I got a safety belt too. Yeah. I'm impressed. Okay. Oh, that's my job over there. Okay. Got her. See? That's me. Just got to remember not to scream like a girl. Yep. And uh, <laughs> just wait till the slack comes up. Yep. Okay. Do you want me to take the rest of your gear or are you going to be all right with it? Hang on, this uh, at the okay, back. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Good. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Sit on the board. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good. Pick her up. Okay, you're fine. You're yeah. fine. I just want to get my. There we go. Okay. Good. Yeah, we're good. Okay, use your feet. Yeah, I got her. And we're airborne. And we're good. So this is me, going up to 100 feet above the water, on a winch, thank god, not have to worry about something to let him go. And that is historic Port Colman, and this is where we came in. So, still going up, about halfway so far, it's a long way. That's West Street, still filling up, lots of people there, lots of stuff to do. We're good. Oh, I'm going way up. Ah. 
Get all the water, uh, they're mudding the water there. Wow. I'm going to turn this off because I need to adjust myself. So, I did say that this episode of Thoughts from a Car came from a lake, and I was right. I also said it came from a ship. I was right. Um, it's a little higher up than that. Today's episode comes from a bosun's chair, at the top of the mast of the Empire Sandy. Uh, yeah, it's 100 feet down. I've got to tell you, this is the best view in town. I'm not going to get anything better than this. I just hope they come back before I go for lunch. It's hot up here and I can't get down without them. and you get to look down on a seagull. Best view in the house. Once in a lifetime opportunity. This is not something they do every day. This is not something that anybody gets an opportunity to do every day. That's why I took it when I had the chance. This is a memory that's going to stay with me for the rest of my life. Not oh, the next 30 seconds. Chip comes first. <laughs> So that's how this all started, and uh, I want to thank everybody that helped me make this happen. And I'm ready to go down now, guys. Guys? Guys? And just sort of record. This is me going down. They didn't let me go, they didn't go for lunch. There we go. Oop. Talk about hands free. Isn't this kind of cool? Coming up on the road. Hang on. Whoa! There we go. This is all going on YouTube, so do you want to say a few words about the Empire, Sandy? Oh, uh, one day. One day. <laughs> Maybe just, just not today. Bring it on. Thanks again, man. Bring Al, it on. you're a star. Not a problem, my friend. Thank you. Okay. I'm going to go for a beer. I think I've earned it. No, that won't happen. And uh, around oh. here, you might catch us after 11. Yeah? yeah. Okay. At night. <laughs> I might swing by then. Very good. Ian, thank you. Good to see you again. You too. Uh, do you want to give me a 30 second blurb about the Empire, Sandy? Yeah, sure. Ah. Uh, this vessel was originally built in 1943 in England, and it was uh, uh, a steam-powered uh, deep-sea uh, salvage tug. And uh, it got retrofitted after the current owner's father bought it in 1979. $30,000 for scrap. Gutted it, and now it's a three-masted tall ship, and it's uh, the largest one in Canada. And it's been all over the world. It's so actually it on, on D-Day. all, all over the world. Mm -hmm. Speaking of Carly, <sighs> 
That's it. This is an impromptu, unexpected, unscripted thing. Well, there we go. I'll oh, thank you for your time, and I'll that's catch right. you later. That's the way we like it. Again. Very <laughs> random. Cheers, my friend. Okay, I am recording. You're recording? I am. No, no, no. That way. What, that way? Yeah. Okay, I am recording still. Very, very warm here. These guys will tell you that. So here's the thing. Let's jump off, guys. Are you jumping off? Bye. Does he have money in the shoe in his pocket? No. He has his shoes on. Yeah, he keeps them on. He's from England, man. <laughs> hey, lovey. Yeah, he wants to swim, let him swim, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he learned to swim in the ocean with all the currents over there, so. <laughs>